Kia ora, good morning. Welcome to Friday, last Friday for November. I am Mike from Market. Say, so, yeah, a little worse for wear, actually, after uh, scoring away the first function of the silly season last night. But I did pull a pin at a very responsible point. 20-year-old Mike, he would be very disappointed in 40-year-old Mike. But anyway, this is Kiwi Bank Markets in a minute. Uh, US China, that once again gripped the sentiment steering wheel overnight. Basically, uh, it all stems from yesterday afternoon when President Trump signed off on the legislation relating to the ongoing issues in Hong Kong. And the market got a bit antsy over what it might mean for the trade war, for a, bleh, for a phase one deal, for all of that stuff. Uh, so far, China's response has only extended to rhetoric. So, yeah, a bit of negativity in global equity markets, uh, the ones that were open anyway, the US shop is shut for Thanksgiving. But the lack of anything tangible on the China response front, so far, uh, yeah, probably limited the magnitude of the moves. The, those moves across Europe and Asia, it, the equity dips, pro, it, it averaged around a quarter of a percent. Yeah. Uh, for currency markets, we saw volatility and a bit of negativity, but not enough to really change the current game. Uh, for the Kiwi, that uh, long-standing, increasingly long-standing, 64 to 64.4 US cent trading range remains intact. We've been bouncing there, what, 10 days now? Yeah. Currently though, uh, the overnight low was 64.09 and we are just a smidge above that now. Now being just after 7 a.m. ish, I'm running a little late. Um, yeah, so all more of the same, really, and we expect more of that, more of the same, uh, over the course of today. I think that's about enough. Most major boxes ticked. I could go on. I could always go on, but uh, let's just call it there. Um, have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Kaki Te